Guys, I have here two of the best camera phones your money can buy this 2023. And nandito sa akin kaliwa is the Huawei Mate 50 Pro. And nandito sa akin kanan is the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra. Both of these phones are really nice for getting sa camera photography. And in this video, pag-usapan natin just purely the photography experience that I had with these both phones on comparison. So tara, simulan natin. So hi guys, I'm Pastor Richman, the Gadget Psychic, and welcome back to my channel. So both of these phones have beast na camera. And tiningnan natin dito sa current ranking ng DXO Mark, si Huawei Mate 50 Pro just got bumped off by Honor Magic 5 Pro. It's uh, the current number two. And pagdating naman sa Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra, it's currently holding the 12 spot dito sa DxO Mark na ranking. Now, like they said, it's just a ranking. What's more important is yung experience natin as a user nito phone na ito. So right now, quickly run down lang natin mga specs ng camera ng both phones. So Huawei Mate 50 Pro no longer is collaborating with Leica. Right now, they're collaborating with Xmage. Actually, Xmage is sarili nila, no? And this one has a 50MP na main camera shooter. It has OIS. Ang kanya aperture is 1.4. Then, of course, it's being coupled with a 64MP na aperture 3.5 na periscope telephoto lens. And, of course, meron din siya ultra-wide lens na 13MP na may aperture 2.2. Then, of course, it can shoot up to 4K and 60fps. Now, pagdating naman sa kanyang front-facing camera, it has a 13MP na aperture 2.4 and meron siya ultra-wide capability. Then, of course, meron siya 3D sensor or pang depth sensor. It also is used for biometrics. This one can also shoot up to 4K and 60 FPS up front. Now, pag usapan naman natin right now kay Samsung. This one is being powered by 200 MP na aperture 1.7 na kind of main sensor. And of course, it's being coupled with a 10 MP na periscope telephoto lens with 10 times optical zoom. Then 10 MP na telephoto lens with up to 3 times optical zoom. And of course, a 12 MP na ultra-wide sensor. Then, this one can shoot up to 8K and 30fps. Then, ang front-facing camera is a punch hole na 12MP aperture 2.2. And ang best quality na kaya na shoot sa video is 4K and 60fps. So, right now, let's start off with the controversial na moonshot ni Samsung. So, sinabi nila, it's more of enhanced itong kay Samsung. So, marami naman te tech vloggers na nakapag prove na it's really enhanced and makita natin clearly in this photo na, yeah, uh, dito sa capture ni Samsung, you can see na mas evident ang mga creators ng moon, no? Though pareho ang kanyang creators, kita naman natin, pero dito, it's a lot more enhanced as compared dito kay Huawei, which looks more realistic. This one is looking more uh, mas maganda lang siya i-post pagdating sa mga social medias. Definitely, this one is looking good. Uh, kahit anong sabihin natin no, on both of these pictures, well, definitely, Samsung should take the cake here on this photo. Now, if you look at the painting on both of this photo, I can say pagdating naman sa color reproduction, definitely, mas maganda, mas a little bit more enhanced dito kay Samsung. Now, if you're looking closely, uh, based sa aking observation sa aking mata, yung kay Huawei looks a little bit more nearer dun sa original photo na, na, na picture ko. No? So, what I can say dito sa dalawa, both was able to capture really nicely. But if you zoom it dito, I can say that si Huawei has a little bit more detail as compared to Samsung. So, kita natin mga woods na dito sa kanya. It's more evident. Okay? So, dito is more, para mas flatten out ng konti. So, yeah, I should give it to Huawei for having the better photo of this painting. Now, taking a quick look at both of these mugs. So, if you look at it closely, uh, both has really nice photo. Okay, so... The colors are almost the same, and kind of the production is almost the same. But if you look at it, uh, the sa tunay na photo, no, sa tunay na actual scene, 
I can say na yung kay Huawei was able to reproduce a little bit more realistic as compared dito kay Samsung. Samsung is a little bit mas more enhanced. Kita natin yung wood varnish niya looks mas maganda ang wood varnish niya. So definitely this one is more Instagrammable. But I can say na for the things uh, uh, closer to the real thing, uh, I think this one, si Huawei, looks a lot better. Now, take a look at itong dalong photo na ito. No? So, it was captured at the same angle. Now, if you zoom it both, dito sa subject, na tinan natin ko sino mas clear ang shot. Now, uh, if you look at it both dito sa aking mata, I can say si Samsung was able to capture it better and mas preserve ang details na tao no? uh, as compared dito kay Huawei. Kung dating sa zoom, sa details, ah, capturing more details on one single photo. Now, pagdating naman dito sa shot na ito, well, honestly, I, I think si Samsung, no, dalagang ini-enhance niya yung al ng kanyang algorithm to make your photo look a lot better than what you see in actual person. To make you feel like more posting it sa Instagram and sa Facebook rather than this one kay, kay Huawei. So, this one is near sunset. So, I can say na medyo magiging yellow ang sky due to the sunset effect. Now, this one kay Samsung, pinilit niya maging mas bluer ang sky. Though, both of them was able to preserve yung mga cloud details. Ah. And I can say na if you zoom it in, well, both has really nice details pagdating sa cloud. But if pinagtatalunan ang color, well, definitely, si Huawei must preserve na yung tunay na actual scene as compared dito kay Samsung. Now, pagdating naman dito sa sunset shot, I can say na si Huawei definitely was able to capture it a lot better kay Samsung. Kay Samsung, medyo mas na-darken na siya. But si Huawei, kita natin ng ganda ng sun. Kaya unlike kay Samsung, yung sun niya sumabog. Okay, so... Uh, wasn't able to preserve yung ganda ng sun. This one, bilog na bilog pa yung sun. Ito medyo, well, na blown out of proportion na siya. Now, both of these photos, ginamit ko a 5 times zoom. So, if we take a quick look dito sa dalo, sa, I'm not quite sure kung anong classing animal ito. But, definitely, it's uh, captured here sa Manila Bay. So, well, if you zoom it in, makita natin na medyo napipixelated ito kay Samsung. Pero while dito kay, kay Huawei, mas na-preserve pa niya yung picture after 5x zoom. So definitely, I should give it to Huawei for this one. Now, looking at both of these photos, well, honestly, maganda rin ang capture ni Samsung. And it captured a lot of details dito sa photo na ito. I can say na maganda. Uh, all of these people are sitting by the bayside, uh, checking the sunset. And si Huawei was equally nice. But if you take a quick look dun sa kanyang uh, color ng sky, definitely mas realistic itong kay Huawei. Now, uh, checking some details dito sa, sa gilid, like ito mga puno. Yeah. But uh, to be honest, mas, parang mas na-preserve kunti ni Samsung ang details sa mga puno dito. Now, if, and if we take a look dito sa mga buildings, dito sa likod, uh, mas enhance pa rin ang colors ni Samsung. So, yeah. Uh, I can say na some of these peoples dito sa likod, medyo hindi na masyado preserve ni Samsung ang ano, details dito. Probably mas na-preserve niya yung mga background, no? As compared sa mga people. When, meanwhile, kay Huawei, na-preserve pa rin niya yung mga dito sa mga tao dito. Dito medyo na-pixelate niya kay Samsung. Now, if you look at this plant shot, so zoom in lang natin, no? Si, and si Huawei definitely was able to give you more details. Okay? So, it, it's very evident dito sa picture na ito. So, mas preserve ang mga details niya, no? As compared dito kay Samsung. Now, pagdating naman dito sa shoe, I can say na parang medyo mas overexposed kung dito kay Huawei pagdating sa ilaw, no? This one was able to give me the better shot that I want hindi hindi masyado do sa lightings no though both of them was taken at the same angle and yeah you can see yung shoelace yung kay Samsung mas para mas na preserve niya 
as compared dito kay Huawei. So, definitely, yung kay Samsung looks better dito pagdating sa indoors. So, bago dumilim ang sky, I was able to take both of these shots sa CCP. And if you compare them both, I can see na parang mas maganda yung pagka-dramatic effect na nilabas nito dito kay Huawei as compared dito. No? So, dito medyo feel mo talaga dumilim na. Dito medyo maliwanag pa konti. Now, taking a look dito pagdating sa gabi, no? I think si Huawei, pagdating sa ilaw, ini-enhance niya konti, no? Give you a little bit more dramatic effect as compared dito kay Samsung. Nakita natin pagdating dito sa ilaw, parang mas nag-glow siya as compared dito kay, kay Samsung. Now, if you zoom in dito sa characters, well, both has almost the same. Pero parang mas maganda pagka-reproduce yung Huawei pagdating sa night shots. Now, if you take a look at sa selfie photos uh, side by side, I can say na definitely mas maganda mga photos sa na nakuha dito sa Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra. Now, taking a selfie outdoors, equally, I can say na mas maganda talaga kuha ni Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra pagdating sa mga selfie shots. So right now, compare lang natin ang both uh, video na nakuha natin no? using the front-facing camera. So I can say definitely no doubt about that na mas maganda ang front camera ni Samsung. You can see that both this video, kay Samsung has a lot more details on my face as compared kay Huawei. So compare na natin both videos captured using the uh, rear camera, 4K video. So nagpan around lang tayo dito sa Manila Bay. And yeah, definitely I can say na uh, pagdating sa video, uh, there's no doubt na Seems to me na mas maganda ang capture ni Samsung pagdating sa video. It gives me a lot of more, more cinematic effect. So there guys, nakita na natin ang both comparison na itong dalawang phone nito. Two great flagship. And pagdating sa photos, I would really give it to Huawei pagdating sa kanya rear camera. No? And there's no doubt in my mind that this one deserves to be number two nga talaga siya pagdating sa DxO na camera ranking. And si Samsung, just number 12. Pero pagdating na si selfie camera, there's no doubt na mas maganda ang selfies dito kay Samsung. Pagdating sa video, I would still give it to Samsung. And overall, if you're a photography lover, I would suggest that go for the Huawei Mate 50 Pro. There's no doubt in my mind that this one is taking better shots, mas maganda, and definitely more natural colors as opposed to kay Samsung na medyo mas enhanced and medyo mas saturated. Pero pagdating, if you're, you love selfies and if you love taking videos, vlogs, TikTok videos, I would say na go for the Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra. Now guys, if you want to know kung saan na pwede mabili both of these phones, I'll be linking on the description box below. And if you like this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and of course, hit that bell icon para hindi na miss mga future uploads here my channel and so I'm Parasir Richmond and you're watching Gadget Sidekick What's up? like and subscribe to my channel don't forget to hit that notification bell for one of my latest uploads click the dito and for one of my popular uploads click here